Hey, I'm Skills Hudson, and I'm getting a man weed for the first time. Raindrops never hit the same spot, butterflies never fly the same. Man, I'm happy that they hit me up. I was excited, my scalp started tingling. I was like, y'all wanna use me? Yes, let's do it. Cause I really wanted to really get into, you know what I'm saying, get back on the dating scene. I'm going through a divorce. My wife left me, my hair left me. And now I really don't think people would be thinking I'm trying to rape them, you know what I'm saying? Because now I can look like a regular man. I just really think I can start about dating women my age now. I'm a young dude, I just look old. What's going on everyone? I'm Q Shimon, owner of Q Shimon Salon of Atlanta. Been a hairstylist professionally for seven years. Been cutting hair since I was maybe 10. The man unit, well I call it a man unit just so it doesn't like demasculinize it. Um, but it's also known as the man weave. It's been around for a while. Um, it's just gotten to where it's been you can do more things with hair now. So you can get the sides braided off, you can get it and in, cut into mohawks, cut it down low, leave it up high. All right, so they told me they ready. Q is ready in there. As you can tell, I'm ready, I'm excited. You, if, it, if they was to zoom in on my scalp, you'll see it's tingling. I am ready to go do this. I'm about to go get me some new titties, y'all. I'm about to do it. I'm ready. All right, Q, here I come. I've been missing hair for years, but now to bring me back, Ooh, I just, we could play with some styles. Well, I definitely can handle the hair, but you know, for the look and stuff, you gotta talk to your mom and dad about that. Oh yeah, yeah, I know I'm already good with that. What type of hair is this? Like, cause I want the top grade. Like I know women, they get the Indian hair. Is this like Nigerian, top Nigerian? <laughs> what kind of grade is this? It's, well, this one doesn't have a particular grade. It's, basically an afro hair. But is that top grade yeah, afro? Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, it's top it's grade. Athlete. I'm right, going so. for athlete because before I got into uh, what I'm doing now, I used to be an athlete. So I need some athlete. As long as you tell me this is athlete on um, strand, we good. Yeah, we good. I really don't know where they found him at, but it's, it's going to be a challenge, I see. Because I know my hair is a different type of strand. It's more tough, as you can tell. I, this is your, what your third comb you don't use on. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you ain't using the best products, but it's all right. Oh, no, I don't put no products. I just wash my body. Oh, okay, okay. So you just skip the head all together. No, I shower so the water touches. Oh, okay. What I do first is typically, because you do have still a little hair here. Yes. We're going to shave that I'm down. I'm glad just you to, noticed that. Yeah, too, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's some fudge right here. Because people be trying to say, oh, it's all gone. No. You have the faith of a mustard seed. I just can't even explain how like on Christmas day feeling I'm feeling right now. Also what I do is find where your original hairline is. So okay. that's why I went on you. Where is it? Your original. <laughs> my jumper used to be wet until I started losing my hairline. I started feeling it. I started feeling it. Like each day I noticed hair going and I felt my jump shot going. It was feeling like I was gonna need Tommy John surgery. For a style wise, um, what are you thinking about? You know, what was a trip that when they told me that I could get any hairstyle that I wanted, I was like, I was dreaming last night. I I had a fro or a Caesar, a mohawk. I wanted, I, I wish I could just get each style, but I might be going for that. So hold your breath on this part. All right, yeah, ooh. You have a sense of urgency. You going through that quick. Woo. Yeah, I can't let you. know how long it took me to grow that part right there? Me and my father, we never, you know, we never really talked because when he tried to talk to me, he would try to just go on and cut it off. No, I'm not giving up like you have. You know, I always kind of wanted to get it done, mm -hmm. but I also wanted the, the freedom to be able to go back to my, you know, my usual handsome self too. I didn't want to just have to be living this life more than a week. Once you cross over, it ain't no going back. This is a lifestyle. This is nothing that you're just doing for fun. And I want to let anybody know that's going to be watching this. You should hook me up with any female friends you got because I know you look at it, you seeing this right now, but I'm going to be handsome in about 30 minutes. I was kind of leery about the process. I didn't know if it was going to be like if I was on the ground floor of this, getting this done. Like, how do I scratch it? Like, you know, when it itch, is it the same like with a woman weave or a padded? Or? You don't want to dig into it because you don't want to tear the unit up. And how do I go about like, um, do I wrap it up at night? I don't want to have to sleep with it like, you know, a bonnet or something on my head at night. If you sleep well, like a, you might want to might want to tie it down and put like a do rag on, but okay. you don't want to pull it down too tight just to squash the unit down. What's like the similarities of um, like? Woman weave and um, a man weave. 
The only similarity is the fact that we're using the same processes, putting it in um, as them. Um, with the whole using tracked hair process, yours is kind of kind of big, so we might use like two bundles of hair. I'm not comfortable like with some of the names, like bundles. I don't know, like when I order it, how do I? What is the dialogue? How do I say you know, bundles? All right. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and put your unit on. Use a glue to attach the unit. You'll see how secure it is, so it's not gonna go anywhere once I use this glue. Yeah, I got um eight dates lined up this week, so I'm really excited about that. I got one that's a hair puller, and I'm, um, I found out because three of my friends smashed it, and they told me that uh, she is a professional puller, so I made sure that he put the, the glue that he's putting in for his double hold, because when she pulled, I want to be thrusting and holding. If you want to see details on the actual process of doing this, you can go to my website, which is QShamonSalon.com. The first thing I'm going to do as soon as I get this unit um, completely on, I'm ready to fly back out to Vegas. And when I'll be in the TSA line, I'm going to be waiting for them to ask me to remove my hat. I'm going to have it all the way pulled down to my nose. Ha ha! I wish I had some theme music to come on. All right, I just got done putting the unit on. So what we're going to do now is cut it down. As you can see, it's not going anywhere. It's on there. So, mixed up, just giving you the cut that you want. All right, All Def Digital, I present to you the main unit. Whoa, headline, baby. Yeah. I feel like I got a million dollars in the bank account, baby. This dude is definitely crazy. One of my most dramatic, in a sense, clients. Man, see, and that was one of those ones I doubted. I doubted the, um, the man weave, but hey, I'm a believer now. Steve Harvey, I see now. I ain't seen my headline in years. This is better than seeing my father come back. And this, ooh, we nice corp style. Would I get this redone? Absolutely, I would get it redone. I see what you mean, ladies, when y'all be putting all that weave in your head. I'm with y'all, team hell. Thanks for watching me get a man weed for the first time. Make sure you share and subscribe to the channel. I'm about to get ready to get up out of here. And it's about to go down the rest of this week like hooker pants. Everybody is so friendly and they come and they dance together.